Technical and vocational education plays a vital role in human resource development of any country as it helps to create skilled manpower, thereby enhancing industrial productivity and improving overall quality of life. The acquisition of technical skills has also been identified as a tool for social equity as it does not discriminate who can acquire the knowledge or skill. It is further rated highly as a watershed for sustainable development due to its ability to provide employment, create jobs and ultimately poverty alleviation. In Nigeria, many have identified vocational and technical education as their greatest weapon against unemployment and other vices on account of its ability to create jobs and wealth and bring about quick desirable changes in the socio-economic development of any people as well as engender political inclusion and integration. Technical education is the bedrock of technological advancement of any nation. And you will agree with me that there is a big gap today. Vocational training in the society is the main thing right now. Because without vocational training, the economy cannot move forward. There is, however, sunshine in the horizon as Delta State has proven once again to be a pace setter in the education subsector in Nigeria. The administration of Senator Dr. Arthur Ifanyokoa has shifted the focus from certificate acquisition to skills acquisition. Technical and vocational and skills acquisition is the centerpiece of the reforms in the Delta State education subsector, hence the commitment of huge state resources and manpower to the improvement, retooling and equipping of technical colleges and vocational centers in Delta State. Skills acquisition, entrepreneurial development and principles of personal effectiveness are being inculcated into graduates from these institutions and centers. When you're able to tool the kids with skills along with their normal studies, it helps to improve their functionality. And we're hoping too that many of them will move into the polytechnics and continue their entrepreneurial studies with an entrepreneurial mind and they're likely going to come out a success story in the future. The people are learning something that tomorrow they can do on their own. They can go and start on their own and that is helping us. The attraction of young Deltans to learn a skill or trade is such that the government has put in extra efforts to equip and revamp the vocational training centers spread across the three senatorial districts to cater to the ever-growing army of young Deltans who hunger for skills acquisition and entrepreneurial development. While speaking on the many steps the government has taken to ensure that the program run optimally, Smart Ekem, the Executive Secretary of the Technical and Vocational Education Board, highlights the various policies implemented towards upgrade of facilities and the development of curriculum. The major essence of it is to help impart employability and entrepreneurial skills in the life of Deltans. We are able to carry out a lot of infrastructural development. We also carried out capacity building that is uh, training the trainers. Smart Delta crew embarked on trips to some of the centers in all the senatorial districts to bring to your doorstep sights and sounds of the amazing centers. Okay. Now we want to make meat pie. And this is uh, 0 0.5 low. And the butter is 250 grams. So Skills acquisition is now the way to go. This is why the Okowa-led administration has invested so much in human capital development, in making sure that all the vocational centers are up and running. At the Delta State Vocational Training Center in Sapale, the crew met the administrator, Mr. Godwin Erewa, on ground. After a warm welcome, he took us on a guided tour around the facility to see and hear from both the trainees and the instructors. We met ongoing sessions of theory and practical classes. 
Mr. Godwin spoke extensively on how Delta State government has enriched their curriculum to reflect current realities, capacity building, and procurement of equipment, amongst others, to develop the center. When this governor came on board, it was then the whole thing was really put in the right perspective, where we have syllabuses, we have scope, enrichment of the center, and the procurement of training facilities, the capacity building of both the administrator and some other staffs, renovation of the center. They are trying in funding. Like what I want, I, I made it myself. If I didn't come to this fashion department, I, I think I cannot do these things. So when I leave this department now, I will go and open my own institute. I have my students thought I will tutor them the way they are still training me here. The government, they did well by that. I appreciate them. They tried very well. I can really put that I'm a fashion designer. I've learned a lot of things while I'm here. I'm very happy. They are trying, you know, as you can see, we have good facilities here, good equipment, everything is okay. At the electrical installation department, trainees like Godwin Awenaoro and Daniel Ebido says skills acquisition is the way to go in order to be self-reliant rather than depend on government for non-existent white-collar jobs. I came to learn a skill because being idle at home like make me to involve myself in some kind of actions that will not be legal. Learning a skill will help me to like to benefit for my own self and my family and people around me. Yeah, it's very special and good for we youths to learn some work in the future. They're not jobs now. I can use it to take on my family because this is one of the best jobs in Nigeria and even outside country. Some other instructors at the center who spoke on the impact of capacity building training were also quick to add that that was the way to go to grow the economy. What we are striving to do is to see that the learners do not just come to just acquire ski, but to acquire ski in the best of the knowledge where they can be able to meet up to standard and be able to compete in the global environment. I was taught on how to improve on my learning, which actually I've been applying them because of my teaching my students and so far they've improved. The quality of training of giving out to students here is, is very high and uh, it's encouraging. Smart Delta Media team saw a demonstration of passion for skills acquisition by many other students cutting across catering, ICT and hairdressing and styling departments. I want to be among the great chefs in the world. I've gone to several different places but there's none like this place. This place is very special and I believe that with the help of this auntie, I can become a chef. Governor Okowa is working really hard to help us. It has been very impactful. Like even I'm out of here now, I can buy and get money for myself just like that. It's meaningful to me. The place is good enough because the knowledge we get from here is more preferable than the one we learn from outside. I appreciate Okowa for what he has done. It's not easy for somebody to provide such things for everybody to come and learn. Further empirical evidence showing that the government's policy of training and empowering entrepreneurs has positive ripple effect on the economy could be seen at the Sapale Vocational Training Center. Mary is one of the many products of the center. She is into fashion and designing and currently serves as a trainer for interns from the very center she graduated from. Acquiring a skin is very profitable because can imagine at my age, there are things I do on my own. I don't need to beg anybody for money. I make a lot of income from it. And they still bring IT students from that same vocational training center in Sable to come and do IT here. The government, they are trying. This professional knowledge. Michael is also one of the products of the center who has made a living out of the training he received at the center. He is a trained caterer and currently well established and an employer of labor. During my time there, I really had this professional knowledge on those things that I had little ideas before. Things have been okay because as the day goes by, I'm still having a lot of customers and clients I attend to. So business has been okay. I decided to come and learn the skin because I love baking, makeup, I love decoration. It's really helped me financially. The good reports resonating at the other centers were no different from what obtains at Ozora Vocational Training Center. The administrator, Mr. Augustine Isawe, revealed that the center, prior to Okawa's administration, was struggling and in fact had only three departments 
in contrast to six functional departments currently. The upgrade of facilities and equipment has helped to shore up the enrollment. We have more departments. And not only that, in terms of students, the population is now increasing based on the infrastructure we put in place. Today, we are very happy about it. Going around the various departments, Smart Delta Media Crew met with trainees at the K-Train department in a practical session where they were being drilled on how to make small chops and appetizers. Some of the trainees Smart Delta chatted up can't wait to finish and hit the ground running with their newly acquired skills. I love catering very well and I decided to come and be trained so that I can have the knowledge to start something doing, open my own, so that I'll become somebody tomorrow. I'm still a student, so I believe me learning this and also having knowledge of school and still assist me. I discovered at the end of the day, being a graduate or something, if you're not skillful, you remain in the labor market for too long. Idle man, like they say, is a devil workshop. Precious Abugo, Kelly Osayame and Irogene Abrai are happy for the opportunity. A big thank you to the government. They're trying to make us better persons because investing into things like this actually reduces youth and stops them from becoming social nuisance. I'm a graduate, but I saw that the economy is far um, devastating, so I have to create another means of surviving. It's a very good thing. We really appreciate it. The quality of training here is a hundred percent because as you can see i'm the one that made this dress i'm putting on and, and i'm trying to make something else they give us quality and maximum attention here to learn whatever you want i really say kudos to the government for doing this smart delta the story is not different at the Asaba Vocational Training Center, one of the most populated centers. Smart Delta crew, ensuring that no stone is left unturned, visited the center to bring first-hand information. The administrator, who took Smart Delta on a guided tour of the facility, spoke emphatically on the need for skills acquisition and Governor Koa's commitment towards ensuring that this form of education is well-grounded in the state. We don't just train you to have a certificate. We train you also to have a certificate. And the certificate means you'll be able to do it yourself with your hands. That is certificate. So make sure before you graduate from this, you have those two. Had your Benny. We met Mary Odugala, the instructor at the catering department of the school, taking large numbers of trainees through how to prepare various intercontinental delicacies. Today we are preparing goulash continental sauce. It's an intercontinental dish that we all know. And cube of chicken sauce. We are doing two sauce today. Madam Mary, speaking with Smart Delta, thanked the government for putting such facility in place for youths to converge in a formal setting to acquire skills which will serve them for life. Some of our trainees bear their minds on how the program will help realize their dream of becoming professional caterers. I want to appreciate the state government. It has actually made a great impact in the life of youths. One, they'll be able to be self-employed. They can do things themselves. They won't wait for a white-collar job to come. Why they leave school, or even those that didn't go to school at all, they just go and learn one skill or the other, either catering and hotel management, different skills. I love cooking, and I want to serve people with my skills. So that's why I'm here to get more knowledge, so that I'll be a good chef when I go out. We have to thank the government of Delta State for making this place available for us. Smart Delta Media Crew had a taste of one of their delicacies. There is ability in disability. This is the case of Gladys Waka, a physically challenged trainee of the Department of Fashion and Design in the Asaba Vocational Training Center. Gladys, who is grateful for the opportunity to acquire this skill at no cost, 
advises those with such challenges to embrace skills acquisition rather than begging for arms on the streets. This This training I'm undergoing will assist me and my family. I advise others to engage themselves in skill acquisition rather than begging for arms on the streets. Some of Gladys's colleagues in the department are also happy at the vision of becoming professional designers at the completion of their training. I'm so proud with how far I've gone and I believe by the time I'm done with this place, it will be a go. Like, I'll start up my own and do something better and even employ people too. This is just a free opportunity that you can just come and learn what you want to learn. Then you go out there, establish what you have. Ifoma, Ikem and some of our trainees at the General Craft and Bidding Department says the business is a lucrative one and they are thankful for the opportunity for them to undergo the training. This administration has taken skill acquisition so seriously and it's been impacting very, very positively on our youth. They keep trooping in and as they're coming in here, they are very, very grateful with what they see on ground. To our great governor, Okowa, we say thank you, sir. I choose to acquire these skills because there is no work in Nigeria. It will help me in so many ways because I don't need a, a shop to start up my business. I can stay at home and be creating all these things. I choose to learn craft because it will help me empower myself in so much that I can as well empower others. Smart Delta Smart Delta media team's trip to Sapele Technical College was an eye-opener in terms of equipment. The school, which prior to Okoa-led administration suffered infrastructure deficit, now has a number of new facilities, both administrative and academic blocks comprising classrooms, workshops and laboratories. In addition to these, the workshops have been equipped for proper training. Our government Dr. Ifain Okoa, I want to thank him for providing this, this machine for us. It has really been of great help to me and to the school and other students. It gives us visual understanding about a vehicle and how it operates. They're providing this equipment for us have really helped us. I'm very grateful and I love the way the teachers taught us in the building department. The school, which is known for its woodwork, has produced lots of furniture, which would not only put the school in the limelight, but can also be beneficial to the state through generation of revenue. The head of the furniture department, Mr. Onyenwenu Sunday, who spoke after the fact, applauded His Excellency the Governor for providing all the necessary equipment which has aided mass production. The purpose of making is to enable us do the work easier. At the same time, have a mass production, then they will supply other areas, which at the same time, creating revenue for the states. Whoever that passed through here will be easily enough to establish on his own, her own. The government will have helped us in furniture department by giving us a good machine, good HOD, to teach us the theory and the practical way to be a good furniture man. I can set up my own because they have teach me the theory and the practical. The same testimonies are recorded at the Ofagbe Technical College as the principal of the college, Mrs. Veronica Edeme, while speaking with Smart Delta, highlighted the numerous contributions the government has made towards improving the standard of teaching and learning at the college. The era of white collar job is far gone. If you have no skill, you are nowhere to be placed in Nigeria. Our governor the amiable governor that we have has keen interest to boost this. And this will give job opportunity to so many persons. And our industries, the existing ones, we equally have hands to manage them. The brilliance of students like Elijah Ghana, his understanding of what he set out to achieve serves as motivation for government to do more. Elijah who represented the school and Delta State at the just-concluded JETS competition in Lagos while demonstrating the use of the gadgets produced by him and his colleagues, which earned them the fourth position, applauded the government for putting such facility in place to help him realize his dream of becoming an electrical engineer. 
when I finish here, I can't just go looking for a job. I can just start on my own through the electrical work they have taught me here for Agbeteka College. At the Ogo, Abo and Isiluku Technical Colleges, the testimonies of building, budding entrepreneurs as they go through their course of study also resonates through many other departments in the school. I'm very proud of myself to be in technical college and there is nothing in reading a fabrication that I cannot do. Thank you to Governor Okowa. I'm a welder and if the government is not able to employ us, I can engage myself by opening a roadside wedding store. To me, it's very, very helpful. Senator Dr. Arthur Ifanyokowa has continued to build a functional, result-oriented technical education system in Delta. Today, the institutions now serve as a dependable human capital base for middle-level manpower needs of the state. He has kept to his promise of establishing 19 more technical colleges in addition to the already existing six. This move is aimed at bringing technical education to the doorstep of Deltons at every local government area. 25 in number will now have one each. The intention of the governor as regards technical education is to make it affordable and available to every part of the state. We want to assure Deltons that technical education will not just available and affordable, it will be a qualitative one to produce middle-class manpower for the technical advancement of the state. Thus far, some level of appreciable work and construction has begun in nine of the 19 new ones promised by the governor. Smart Delta At Iri Isoko South local government area, Smart Delta crew met their traditional ruler, his Royal Majesty Joseph Ayagba, who lauded the efforts of the governor towards technical education in the state. He appreciated him for approving the establishment of a technical college in Iri Kingdom. Technology is what is ruling the world now. And anybody who invests in technical education and vocational training is definitely not investing in today alone, it's investing in the future. So we recognize that very sincerely in Iri so that in spite of what the governor has done for Erie Kingdom here, that he has decided to put a technical college in Erie is a measure of how much he loves Erie and how much he loves Isoko people and how much he loves the future of this state. In other locations like Uye, Asaba and Owalero, construction has already taken off. Smart Delta sounded out some of the workers on site as well as the consulting architects in Asaba who share their thoughts with us. Yes, this new technical college that is coming up is a full school where you have classrooms, we have workshops, we have accommodation for both the staff and the students. So on the total, there are 13 different buildings we are expecting to have on site. When I had the information, I was very happy having a technical education because most of our students did this technical education to advance technology in this our present generation. We also visited Owalero, a kind of East local government area of the state. The very peaceful and serene community is the location of one of the 19 new technical colleges promised by Governor Ifanyokoa. Some of the indigenous of the community were quick to tell us how they feel about sighting of the institution in their community. I will be much happy because... I'll be very happy because our children, after graduating from the university, remain unemployed. But with technical education, they will be self-reliant and crime rates will reduce. All this is uh, quite if no good day. If you don't build a student, they will come buy something from me now. That time, Mr. will the market will move. I'm happy where our children will benefit the school. initiatives of establishing technical and vocational centers, Delta State is becoming not just an exemplary model for building budding entrepreneurs through sound skills training and vocational education, but also a destination pointing the path 
for the rest of Nigeria to follow. Yeah.